Hey everyone, welcome back to the part two of the session. In part two, we are going to develop customer service, uh, which will be listening to the order queue and uh, taking the decision uh, of uh, whether the customer should be allowed to uh, process the order. Uh, and the the decision will be uh, placed uh, on the customer queue for uh, to be uh, to be listened from order service. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. And uh, yeah, so we are creating, uh, we are having the same dependencies, whatever we have added for the order service. So here we are adding, importing the project from the downloaded uh, zip folder. Uh, we have unzipped it and uh, now we are exp importing it into the IntelliJ. And uh, the project structure, everything is almost similar to whatever we have done in order service. So you can follow through. The only difference we can see in the customer uh, DTO class uh, because now since it is a customer service so we would be sa saving customer details in the customer collection of MongoDB. So that's the only difference uh, we can find here. Uh, apart from that uh, almost everything is similar. So now we are going to have an interface i customer service. So we will be having all the endpoints or the methods here. Like customer message from queue, it will be listening from the order queue. Uh, purchase operation will be actually doing the operation, a business logic operation. Add money and deduct money. Uh, these are the methods uh, which will be taking care of, you know, adding the money endpoint and uh, while uh, doing the business operation we need to do some deductions from customers account or customers record so that part will be taken care here in the by the deduct money method so yep uh, so now in customer service we are adding the rabbit listener and it's a, uh, it uh, the the bean is auto wired above and uh, we are listening order queue here and purchase operation as mentioned business logic will go here so we are reading first we are reading from the order we are getting the customer id as we have seen in the order service uh, we are passing the order uh, customer id also so we will get the customer fetch the customer id first and then for that particular customer we will match the uh, balance of that customer and the price of the uh, item which we are going to purchase here uh, that we are uh, checking comparing if the price of that item is more than whatever we have in the wallet then uh, the order should be uh, declined and if it is uh, under that uh, balance then then only the order should be accepted so this scenario we are going to cover here now uh, in we are writing the controller customer controller uh, slash create is the for creating the customer uh, and again uh, as we have seen earlier uh, this particular service will be listening on port number 8090 and uh, yeah and uh, as I mentioned earlier while uh, defining the customer service uh, class uh, add money will be actually adding some money to the customers uh, uh, record in the database in database collection so we have started the server uh, we are we have bounced both the servers uh, 8090 uh, we are having customer service and 8080 we are having uh, we are having order service so both are up and uh, now we will try to place the order uh, via postman so just see how we are going to test our both are uh, the, the full uh, use case or the full POC so let's enjoy that
so guys we are we have done one mistake here in uh, both the services in order service we have the queue name as customer queue and in uh, customer service we have the name the queue as uh, consumer queue so we need to have both the uh, both of them should have the same name so we are keeping it as customer queue uh, since uh, our order service will be getting the response uh, the business logic response over the customer queue only so yeah that change we have done and we are rebouncing the server and let's see how it performs now so now when we place the uh, uh, when we hit the uh, place order endpoint uh, our, our uh, order uh, details should be uh, detail order detail object should be placed on the order queue and that queue uh, that should be uh, our customer service should listen that uh, particular order on order queue from order queue and uh, we should get the logs here in the customer service logs uh, yeah so that's what we are going to see here now and we have done another uh, mistake that is the order statuses uh, actually in order service we have configured the enum as uh, pending declined and accepted in the past form uh, while in the uh, in the consumer service we have the order statuses as uh, pending decline and accept so the decline and accept should be same as declined and accepted in the as in the order service so that change we have to make and uh, yeah that's what we are doing here and uh, let's see uh, once uh, we correct it and uh, we will rebounce the server so now this time this time we should be able to hit the server and uh, the full flow should work let's see how it happens how it works So now as you can see first we are trying to add some money in tester's account tester is our customer so we are trying to add some amount in his pocket in his wallet and then uh, we are going to place the order again uh, so this time the order should be accepted uh, and uh, now we are trying to just for to show the working of the rabbit mq or the queues uh, what we have done is we have stopped the uh, cons customer service and uh, so this time now uh, when we place an order uh, the order queue will be uh, the order will be placed in the order queue and this with the status as pending so that we can see in the uh, uh, on the mongodb also as there the ex uh, status will be uh, in order service the status will be in uh, pending state earlier since uh, both the servers were up so uh, it was happening so fast that we we were not able to uh, you know uh, catch that uh, 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 pending order uh, status so now uh, just uh, we can as we can see now so with this here ends our tutorial on uh, uh, spring uh, boot rabbit mq mongodb sample for saga example and uh, once again thanks for watching and uh, thanks for supporting us thanks for watching subscribe to our work like to our work share it uh, with your colleagues and uh, motivates us thanks for watching again have a nice day bye